Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new here. Today I am bringing you guys out back to decorate our outdoor deck, our outdoor patio space. And I just had Mike helping me assemble the furniture and things like that as they came in. I am also going to share my container gardening with you guys and some really fun and easy outdoor DIY things that you can do to really elevate your outdoor space, whether that's a balcony, a deck, a patio, whatever it might be, just to make it feel like a little vacation, like a little oasis, somewhere that you can really go to relax. I know we have a pretty big deck. It's a pretty big outdoor space to use, but most of the ideas for what I'm putting out there and for what I did, you can totally use in a smaller space as well. And also comment and let me know if you would want to see surprise outdoor makeovers for my mom and my mother-in-law and we can maybe put that together in a future video. For our dining set, we spent less than half of what we expected to spend, and I absolutely love how it came together. We actually went with two tables instead of one long one, but because the wood slats all go the same way and the edges are perfectly square and even, you can push these two tables together and they look like one long table. You can barely tell that it's two separate tables, but then if we have a party or anything out here and we need to separate them and maybe create a food table, a dining table, whatever we can move the two tables around very easily and then we are about an hour outside of New York City and we do get a good bit of rain here and more often than not our seat cushions would be soaked every time we tried to come outside to eat during the summer which was really a bummer so I decided on these chairs which first of all I love the design of but they are also a really durable plastic but they are still a little bit bendable so when you sit back against the seat it actually can recline like slightly it has a little bit of bend and give to it the seats are plenty wide enough they're very sturdy they're stackable which is great you can use them indoors or outdoors I got them in white but they actually have them in black and white and I just love them after having them for about a month or so I honestly cannot find a single bad thing to say about them I'm also excited to be adding an outdoor mat this year it looks like a rug but it's actually a plastic mat that will not hold water because I definitely don't want to cause any rotting or decay on the wooden deck by keeping it wet under a rug for long periods. But this one allows airflow and dries out quickly and I love how it provides a grounded and centered look and it just really creates a living space outdoors. I also have this old broom. I mean, it's really, really old and really falling apart here. But I was wondering before I throw this away, do you guys have any ideas for me of what we could make out of this? Comment and let me know your thoughts. Now, originally we had planned on doing a propane fire pit and we thought that would be something that we could use on the deck. And I found one that I really, really loved. And I tried to order it two times and both of those times it ended up being out of stock. They ended up canceling my order. They were already sold out. So our thought was to put it where the little coffee table is and have a fire pit there. We just thought that would be so nice for being able to maybe do like marshmallows and make s'mores outside of the deck with the kids at night. But for now we have the coffee table. It looks really good and we're fine with that, but I will keep an eye out if I can find another fire pit that I really like. Um, I just loved so many features about this particular one so if I can get it I will definitely link it everything is actually going to be linked on my website stylemysweets.com on the blog post for my deck makeover so you can be sure to check that out the link will be down below and now the wooden frame at the end of the deck was something my dad had it's another piece of trash to treasure you could say I'm not sure quite what is this I think it might be a bed frame or something honestly I have no idea what I'm hoping to do is be able to use it like a trellis for my cucumbers and maybe for my zucchini plants although I did order two beautiful metal trellises before I found this one which have not come in yet shipping has been so delayed so if I can get this to work that will be awesome but if not I might have to switch it out and use the metal ones that I have already on order let me know what you think do you think this is going to work as a trellis or not so I decided to switch my 
smaller three tomato plants into this huge fabric planter over here so they will have more room to grow. I also have fabric pots like this for my lettuce. Now what I like about them is that they are made of recycled materials. They have handles making them easier to move around. They allow for drainage and also let the roots breathe so that they don't get root bound. Although because of that I think that the roots might get damaged being in these fabric pots if you leave them outdoors through the winter. If you've got a plant like the blueberry bush that will survive through the winter and your weather and temperatures are going below freezing but they are perfect for all of my summertime gardening. The blueberry bushes themselves are fine to be outside below freezing. In fact, they actually need the weather, I believe, to go below 40 degrees Fahrenheit in order to even like produce fruit the next year. So the cold weather will be fine for them, but I didn't want to have them in a breathable pot where the air was going to get through and penetrate through the fabric and possibly damage the roots. So I now have my two blueberry bushes, both in plastic pots. I'm going to take my three smaller tomato plants and transplant them into this huge fabric planter so they will have more room to grow. I also have fabric pots like this for my lettuce. Now what I like about them is that they are made of recycled materials, they have handles making them easier to move around, they allow for drainage and also let the roots breathe. With the fabric pots, they will be perfect for all your summertime gardening, and then if you need to pack them away in the fall, they do fold up pretty small for storage, which is also really nice. And I got large planter trays on wheels, which have made moving these large, really large bags of dirt such a breeze and super easy to do. Now I am new to the blueberries and raspberries, especially in container gardening. So comment and let me know if you have any tips for those. The strawberries are ever bearing varieties. And I can say that the, from the ones I had last year, they came back in the spring. They survived our very cold Northeast winter and they came back and they are do it they're like even bigger this year than they were in the fall but they continued last year producing fruit all the way until i think sometime mid-october when we got our first frost so they produce fruit for a long time and this cute pot i'm using to store my fertilizer and cottonseed meal for my blueberries i actually made this from a popcorn can that was left over after christmas time all I did was completely wrap and cover the design on this can with some nautical rope and it already came with these really nice sturdy handles which is so perfect. You could even maybe repurpose a popcorn tin like this into a beautiful decorative planter or plant holder as well. I think having some lights outside in your outdoor space at night just makes it so romantic and so cozy and welcoming and inviting and honestly it makes me feel like I'm on a vacation somewhere is kind of the feeling that I get it's just feels like a little private personal oasis if you know what I mean and it's something that's super easy to do no matter what the size of your outdoor space adding these little boho lanterns look so nice they are solar powered so they turn on every day when the Sun goes down solar panel pieces in my planters here and then using outdoor command hooks that are made for lights to string up my twinkle lights. These are perfect for holding your outdoor Christmas and holiday lights as well but you actually only need a couple little clips just to hold the light strand in place. This was super easy to do and I love how pretty it looks at night. I even took the leftover lights and strung them around the trunk of my hibiscus tree here. This is so cozy and romantic and it just looks so inviting that I just love to be out here in this space. For everyone who asked about how this side table is holding up outdoors, I'm going to have the video linked up top here and down below if you want to check it out. But we had some crazy hard torrential rains just a couple days ago and then lighter rain on another day. And this paint has stayed on totally fine. The wooden coasters that we did stayed out here. They were fine throughout all of it. Everything has held up really, really well along with my little solar lanterns. So yes, I'm so happy. Happy. The only thing I do with these pillows is I put them inside of this, which this was from Walmart, and I absolutely love it. You can use it as a side stool, table, um, whatever you want. So I just throw the three cushions into there when I know that we're going to get a lot of rain. So I'm going 
going to have everything I used linked on my blog for my outdoor makeover and gardening supplies, and the link for that will be in the description box down below, but the website is just stylemysweets.com, so you can find everything there. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. As always, thank you so, so much for watching. I wish you a beautiful and blessed day, and I will see you guys soon in the next one. Bye!